I have turned myself into an athletic and aesthetic freak, but it didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen until I got my programming right. So in this video, I'm just going to tell you about how you can get your programming right, how you can use it to become athletic and aesthetic. So I'm going to just give you all the five main points of this process real quick. So first thing you got to remember in order to become athletic and aesthetic is that you need a program that gets you stronger, meaning that from workout to workout, you need to be getting stronger. If you go in the gym and you're not doing more reps, more sets, or more weight, you're not getting stronger. You're staying the same. And if you're staying the same, you're actually getting worse. That's what my coach used to tell me back in college. So remember, from workout to workout, it doesn't matter how you're doing more volume. You just need to be doing more because that's how you're going to get stronger. So let's say you're doing 200 pounds on bench for three sets of five. Next time you go in the gym, either do three sets of six, do four sets of five, or up the weight to like 210 pounds. You get what I'm saying? So essentially, you just, you gotta do something to get stronger every time. And the same goes for if you're training speed or if you're training like uh, sprinting or something. You want to make sure that you're getting faster from workout to workout. So ideally, you would get a way to measure that because if you can track something, then you can improve it. So if you can track your sprints, if you can see how fast you're going, you can get faster every time. Next is you need to focus on max intensity. And essentially what I mean by that is that you need to give yourself enough time to rest so that you can apply max intensity. If you're going in the gym every single day, if you're there five, six days a week, you're not gonna be able to apply max intensity because intensity comes from your CNS, your central nervous system. Your central nervous system needs to be at full capacity it's got to be a full go in order for you to get stronger from workout to workout. So ideally, let's say you're lifting weights for a certain muscle group. You wouldn't want to hit it any more than like two times a week. No more than two times a week. You can honestly do one, but I would say two is the sweet spot. So that way you get like enough volume. But yeah, you don't want to hit it more than two times a week. You don't want to sprint or jump more than two times a week. Because once you go over that, unless you're like doing it every day for a sport or something, chances are your performance is gonna suffer and there's no point in training unless you're actually getting better from workout to workout. The point is progress, not just doing it. And step number three, in order to get athletic and aesthetic with your programming is to play a sport because this way you, all the strength gains, all the explosiveness gains, speed gains that you make, you'll be able to pour it into something. And it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's golf, tennis, basketball, it could be something like track and field, it could be football, it could be baseball. It doesn't matter. The point is that you have a sport, so that way you give your training a purpose. And even if you're not in college or in high school, you could still go and play in like a rec league, play some ultimate frisbee. I just saw some people at the park playing ultimate frisbee. They look like they was having fun. And on top of that, you know, you get to have fun, you improve your competitive spirit, your competitive drive, your competition muscle. And yeah, you meet new people. It's just a good way. It's a good way to give your life some extra oomph. To it, you know what I'm saying? And then step four is just to incorporate recovery. Going back to the max intensity, you gotta make sure you're resting. So ideally go in the gym two days a week, do like sprint or jump training only two times a week. And then that way you have like three to four days to rest. That way your CNS is fully recovered in between. And uh, when it comes to sports though, it's a little different cause you know, sports are more skill-based. So if you wanna get really good at a sport, ideally you'd wanna play it more often than two times a week. But Try to play sport at least two times a week. So that way you still, you know, keep up to date with your technique, still keep good and stay good at it. So yeah, but just make sure to recover though. So hit the sauna, stretch, honestly, just sleep. That's the most important part. Get your like seven to eight hours of sleep every night. And yeah, you can even throw in some meditation, get in some sunlight and whatnot. But the main thing is just sleeping and then also uh, stretching too. So that way you stay loose and limber. And then step five of how to get athletic and aesthetic with your programming, just be consistent at the end of the day. That's literally it, just be consistent. If you do something long enough, eventually, it doesn't matter even if you're doing the wrong thing, eventually you'll just kind of work it out because humans are naturally oriented to just do the right thing. Like you naturally have like a chip in your brain that you know leads you along to the right path. So eventually, as long as you're consistent, as long as you show up in the gym every day, as long as you show up and do your workouts, as long as you show up and eat good and uh, recover and get your sleep, eventually you'll just kind of figure it out along the way. So. 
even if you're not doing everything optimally, just stay consistent at the end of the day because consistency is the key. It's the eighth wonder of the world. With all that being said, check out the video that I just made about milk and the truth behind it. That one's super interesting. On top of that, don't forget, if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, click the top link in the bio down below, or if you wanna join the school community, also have that link down below. On top of that, follow me at the one Sule on all my socials, X, TikTok, Instagram, with all that being said, I do appreciate you for watching this video. Stay up and stay blessed, Dooski.